The procession was to start at the JKIA to Uhuru Park for a public rally. According to NASA's notice to the police drafted by Isifuna and Associates, but police put a damper on NASA's party, interrupting the planned grand reception and cutting into the steady stream of supporters already pouring into the airport. Police had written back warning that NASA's plans amounted to a threat to airport security and they're now defending their pushback. Interior Ministry spokesman Mwendan Joka said police were only doing their jobs to keep things normal as their march would have greatly inconvenienced other airport users. As he put it, if you take a million people to the airport to receive someone, what happens to the other airport users? They have rights too, and all rights are equal. The ministry also defended the police use of what they said was moderate force. Police say they only used tear gas and water cannons to disperse protesters and that no live ammunition was used, dismissing claims of an attempt on NASA leader Raila Odinga's life as propaganda. Law enforcement is also looking into violent episodes that followed the procession, including the deaths of five people who they say were stoned after being caught stealing, two along Landis Road, two next to Country Bus Station and one along Racecourse Road. They say all these episodes happened before police got to the scene. They're also investigating the destruction and looting of private property, especially along Mombasa Road, Outering Road, Airport North Road and Haile Selassie Road. They're asking anyone who may have been assaulted or may have lost property in any way to report to the nearest police station. The Interior Ministry says those identified as looters will have to take individual responsibility for their actions. Shilasendeo, NTV.